Hello friends, this video on excretory products and their elimination part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will discuss about the structure of the kidney. So now let us talk about the structure of kidneys. Now as I mentioned, kidneys are bean shaped structures which are located at the back of the uh, abdominal cavity. It is at the borderline of the thoracic and the abdominal cavity. Now if you look at their weight, they weigh almost around 120 to 170 grams. Each kidney weighs that much. So this is the location of the excretory system in our body. So here you can see these two pink colored structures. This are kidney. This is one kidney and this is the other kidney. So you might see that both are different. That's because this is just the kidney from outside and this I tried to show how it looks from inside. Inside also it has several parts. We will talk about them now. So let us now talk about the important parts inside the kidney. Now before that let us first quickly have some comparison between the right kidney and the left kidney. Now it has been observed that the left kidney is slightly more superior than the right kidney that is because of the large size of the liver on the right side of the body. Now if you remember the location of the digestive system you would see that there is a liver located here right. Now the liver is located in such a way that it is more inclined towards the right side of the body and that is why the right kidney is slightly lower in position than the left kidney. Also for the protection of the kidneys, the kidneys are, I mean they are not tough organs, they are soft tissues. Now in order to protect them, the ribs and the muscles of the back protect them from any sort of external damage. And also the kidneys also have a, a layer around themselves for their own protection. So we will talk about that soon. Now let us start talking about each part inside the kidney. The first thing that we are going to talk about is the hilum. This I have also introduced before. So hilum is nothing but the notch like structure which you have towards the inner concave side of the kidney. That is called hilum. So it is the center of the inner concave surface of kidney. Now this is how a kidney looks like if you try to see it in more detail. So this portion, I mean see this is the outer side, this is the inner side. So in the inner side, this region that is the center of the kidney that is known as hilum. So ureter, blood vessels and nerves enter the kidney here. So if you see this orange colored line which you see that is nothing but the ureter. So here this tube like structures. They also start from this point. They enter the kidney at this point. The blood vessels here you can see the blue and the red color. So red colors represent the artery. Blue color represent the vein. So the arteries and the veins they also enter the kidney at this place. That is hilum. So this is the hilum. So this is very very important. Because, because of it is at this area where the kidney gets in touch with all other parts of the body. The next is the renal pelvis. Now let me tell you another important thing that kidney. You will often find two words related to kidney throughout. One is the term renal and the other is the term nephro. Now let me tell you what are these two words. Now renal is basically a Latin word which means kidney. And nephro is a Greek word which means kidney. So often you would come across terms related to kidney. They are starting with renal or nephro. For example, right now you have one that is renal pelvis. Similarly, you would have heard of nephrologist, you would have heard of nephron, right? You, would, you will also get to know about the renal columns. So that means the term renal and nephro will be used quite often and they both mean kidney. So renal pelvis is the next part of the kidney and which is this part? It is a funnel shaped space inside the hilum. Now this, this region was hilum. Now inside that if you see here you have a brown colored structure which is in the shape of a funnel. A funnel shape. This is how a funnel shape is. So this funnel shaped structure is known as renal pelvis. And what is the purpose of this funnel shaped structure here? 
This receives the urine from the kidney nephrons. Now inside the kidney somewhere urine is produced. Now how it is produced, where it is produced, we'll get to know later. But somewhere inside the kidney, there are some structures called nephrons where urine is produced. We will talk about them later. Now this urine then gets collected or it is received at this funnel shaped structure and then from this renal pelvis it goes out to the hilum through the ureter to the urinary blood. So the renal pelvis actually it collects all the urine that gets produced throughout the kidney. The next part is calyx. So these are projections of the renal pelvis. So if you see this is a funnel shaped structure and then it has some projections. Like this is one projection, this is another. Again, they have sub projections like one, two, three, and four. Here again, you have three projections one, two, and three. That is, it is kind of branches. So, this was the funnel shaped structure which was renal pelvis, and then you saw that it branched off into projections like this. Right? So these branches or these projections are known as calyx. So calyx is the singular term and plural is calyces. So you would often see this term. So do not get confused. Do not think that calyces is something different. So calyx is the singular and plural is calyces. Now here you have two types of calyces. One is the minor calyx and one is the major calyx. So let us see what are they. Now basically if you want to define calyx, they are nothing but small hollow tubes. So they, through them only the urine comes to the renal pelvis. So the urine comes through these tubes and they finally reach this funnel shaped area called renal pelvis. Now minor calyces merge to form major calyces which in turn form the hollow renal pelvis. So here if you see these branching of the smaller branches are called minor calyces. The bigger branches are called major calluses and then this funnel shaped hollow structure is called renal pelvis. So here in this picture you can say that these smaller branches are called minor calluses whereas this bigger branch is called major calyx. So one, so many minor calluses merge together to form one major calyx. So here if you see three minor calluses merge together to form one major calyx and then two major calluses merge together to form one renal pelvis. So that is the uh, concept of major and minor calyx. Okay, let us go to the next part that is the renal capsule. What is this capsule now? Capsule is generally whenever you listen to the word capsule you remember of the capsule which you take as part of your medication so capsule is nothing but it is like coat or a covering so whenever this term comes it generally means covering so the renal covering or the covering of the kidney so it is a thin layer of connective tissue which surrounds the kidney. So here you can see a yellow colored layer surrounding the entire kidney. So this is known as the renal capsule. Now in this, if you see that this is this looks to be a thicker layer inside which you have some tissues, that is some connective tissue. So it, to be more specific, they contain some adipose tissue, that is the fat tissue. So that those fat tissue can give a protective padding to the kidney. So fat will give a cushion like feeling to the kidney. So that means it will surround the kidney and also provide protection against external shock. So this is fibrous and transparent. That is how, that is the nature of the connective tissue here. Tough layer ensures protection of inner soft tissues. As I said, that inside the kidney, the tissues, whichever are present, they are all quite soft. So you actually need to ensure proper protection of the kidneys. Now externally, it is protected by the ribs and the backbone, but kidney in itself is also protected by this capsule, which is made up of the adipose tissue. It provides shape to the kidneys. Now, due to the presence of this capsule, you actually have a distinct shape of the kidneys. If this had this layer been missing, had this capsule been missing, in that case, the distinct shape would have not been recognized because there are so many other stuffs present in the surrounding, right? So, the specific shape is given by this capsule. Next, we will talk about the zones of kidney. That is, inside the kidney, there are different zones. So let us see what are they. 
Now there are two zones inside the kidney. The first one is cortex and the second one is medulla. So these are the two zones or two regions inside the kidney. So let us see what is cortex and what is medulla. So cortex is the smooth outer zone and it is reddish in color. So the outer zone, now the yellow colored layer was the capsule. Just inner to the yellow color layer, you have this region which is cortex. So that is the outermost region and it is quite smooth. You do not have much things here. So it is a smooth zone, generally reddish in color. Medulla is going to be the inner zone, that is the striated inner zone. So here if you see, you see striations here. So many different things are present here. So this region is medulla. So this outside, outer smooth zone is cortex and this inner zone is medulla. So where you actually see so many structures and so many things. So it is not a smooth zone of course. So this zone is medulla and this is reddish brown in color. So the color of the kidney itself is reddish brown in color. So more or less that would be the color. So now let us talk about more things which are present in the medulla because in medulla you can actually see so many different stuffs present. So the next thing that we will talk about is the medullary pyramids. So what are these medullary pyramids? These are striated structures within medulla of each kidney. So here you can see these striated structures. So these are the medullary pyramids. So each of these are known as medullary pyramids. So they are like the structure of a pyramid and they have striations like this. The striations which you can see, that is, that is why they are called striated structures. They, these are tubules and blood vessels are present within these structures. So inside these structures, you actually have tube-like structures as well as the blood vessels being present. So we will talk about all those structures which are present in the medullary pyramids. The next is the renal columns. Now what are renal columns? Now in between the medullary pyramids, this is one medullary pyramid, this is another medullary pyramid, this is yet another medullary pyramid. But in between these two pyramids, you actually see some column-like structures, some cylindrical structures, right? So these structures are known as the renal columns. So these structures in between the medullary pyramids are known as renal columns. So the cortex extends in between medullary pyramids in the form of column-like structures. So this was cortex, right? So in, in a way you can say that the renal columns are extension of the cortex in between the medullary pyramids. So these structures are called renal columns. They are also known as columns of Bertini. This is another name for the renal columns. They are called columns of Bertini. So you understand now this is cortex. Cortex is extended in between the renal medullary pyramids and this extension is in the shape of columns. That is why it is called renal columns or columns of Bertini. Okay, so these are some of the very important parts which are present inside the kidney. So by now we know all the parts. Let us have a quick review. This was the capsule, the yellow colored coating. Just inside the capsule you have the cortex, then you have the medullary pyramids and then the renal columns. Now this funnel shaped structure was renal pelvis. Now this renal pelvis again have its projections which are called minor or major calyx that is the calyces and this region is called the hilum. So this is the portion through which ureters or the blood vessels enter into the kidney. So these are the different parts of the Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.